Hello Lego Rift Jumpers! Welcome back to Keanu's Lego Dimensions Let's Plays! In the last episode we took on the Doctor Who level pack level, that being the Dalek Extermination of Earth, and we also reincarnated all the Doc- the 12th Doctor into the- into the 12 incarnations of the Doctor, those being the first- those being the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, the War Doctor, ninth, tenth, and eleventh Doctors. So, you might be wondering what's ne gonna be next for Batman, Gandalf, and Wild Style. Well, let's go through the portal and let's find out. We're gonna get the last keystone we need in order to complete the the portal. Sorry, I need to focus the camera. So where are we gonna go next? Metropolis! It's Metropolis! Oh no! Sauron! I, I think that's Sauron. Yep, it's Sauron. Great, he's got the keystone. <gasps> oh no. It's the big eye of Sor it's the eye of Sauron, the big tower. <laughs> he's got a, that lady's got a bunny. I know that. It's Superman! He'll help us. Or not. That's right. Leave it to Batman. Again. Oh, it's the Dark Tower. Without the one ring. And he's got orcs. He's got orcs with him. So this level is pretty much a mixture of J.R.R. Tolkien and DC Comics. Ah, orcs! You shall not pass! We need the Batmobile again. Batmobile. Where's the Batmobile? Here it is. Here. The Batmobile. I, I mean the Bat Blaster. It's not called the Batmobile anymore. Okay, now we just put... We just rev this up. Allow me to shit Lex bots. Oh no. Oh, it's a car. Okay. Oh, it's the scale keystone, the one that can increase and decrease your size. Okay, so there's two pan there's three pan so there's three panels. The scale keystone allows characters to go to get larger or smaller to complete puzzles. Place a character on the orange panel to go to go small, the green panel to go big, and the white panel to change back to normal. Okay. So Okay, so what that little question cube thing is, the 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 uh the uh the orange side of the panel the orange panel makes you small, and the green panel makes you big. Pretty cool, huh? So what we need is we need to be small in order to get into this this thing, and then we press this button, 
and boom. Oh, great. Lex bots and orcs. What next? What next? Micromanagers? Take this, you orc! Stupid orcs. Destroy this car. Oh, I hope I don't have... I just hope Batman has car insurance. Oh, shit. It's Sauron again. Oh, cameras. Stealth mode, activate! Damn it, Gandalf! He's trying to sneak here. <sighs> there we go. this. The scale keys don't allow us to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Okay, so what we essentially have to do is we gotta... It's a... it's a, We have to work together with this. So watch down. Small. And big. Small. Normal size. Small. There we go. Okay. Okay. Ooh, hot dog stand! Oh, man, it destroyed that traffic light. Take this, you stupid orcs! Hey, a school bus. Well, I hope there were no kids in that in there. It's a it's a rift thing. Star. Okay, yellow yellow rift. Got just some studs up here. There's no evil. So the other Lego, so the other Lord of the Rings characters they made for Lego Dimensions were Legolas, who is that the elf, Gimli, who is the little dwarf, and Gollum. You know, Gollum, my precious. You know, if you've seen the Lord of the Rings, you know who Gollum is. You're all so nasty hobbits. That's my best impression of Gollum, even though I'm not a fan of Lord of the Rings. Also, did you know that Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings wasn't the first attempt at making a film version of the Lord of the Rings? Yeah, it's true. Before Peter Jackson made the Lord of the Rings, Ralph Bakshi, who you might know as some animated works like Hey Good Looking, Fritz the Cat, Heavy Traffic, Cool World, and, and Coonskin, he actually made 
he actually did a rend a rendition of the Lord of the Rings first, and many of the things seen in that movie would be would be would be taken would be used in the Ralph Bakshi movie. I mean, I mean the Peter Jackson movie, like the the part where this one this one guy says "proud fate" that was used in in the movie t that was used in Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings. Also, originally the Beatles were the Beatles wanted to be in in the Lord of the Rings. So Paul McCartney was going to be Frodo. Paul McCartney wanted to be Frodo. Ringo Starr wanted to be Sam. Jo George Harrison wanted to be Gandalf, and John Lennon wanted to be Gollum. I mean, that, that would be that would be actually kind of hilarious. I mean, could you imagine John Lennon playing Gollum in the Lord of the Rings? Orcs. Lexbox. So the best way to get rid of these lex these Lexbots is to is to ground pound them. Is to pound the ground like this. Lois Lane. Oh yeah, Superman's love interest. <gasps> She's behind that glass. That blaster. Thank you. Oh right, we saved Lois Lane. Uh, oh, excuse me. We saved Lois Lane. Not to be confused with Lois Griffin from P Family Guy, you know. Peter. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Stealth mode activate. Ugh. There's the thing. Okay, build it. Scale. Old style. Ladder. Okay. Okay, we just need to put this in here. Now we just need a character that can be small. Like that, man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Small. Okay, now we press this button. <gasps> Shit, more life spots. Battering. Yeah. And I'll come actually. Oh, it's a mini kit. Yeah, apparently the mini kits are the same mini kits that you in this level. The same, the mini kits in this level are the same mini kits we've seen in Lego DC, Lego Batman Three Beyond Gotham. Why okay. Feeling that the worst is still to come? I don't know. Hmm. 
Jeez, these orcs are... <laughs> into a fortress. And my watch. The Eye of Sauron. Oh, look, an elephant. I think it's an elephant. I know it's from middle... Oh, no. It's Harvey Dent. A.K.A. Two-Face. Oh, yeah. If, if you guys haven't seen Batman, this is Two-Face, also known as Harvey Dent. Oh, yeah, he's got a coin. Oh, crap. This is not good. Two-Face, also known as Harvey Dent. Also, the reason why he looks like that is because he got half of his face burnt with acid. Oh, and these... Apparently, these goons have roller skates on them. Well, I just hope this game doesn't crash again. I see an arcade dock! I played this game before, and I know what, what arcade game this dock has. Ah! I need the arcade machine. Where's the arcade machine? Uh, here it is! I'm oh, sorry. I had the flashlight. There's so many orcs and two-faced goons. So we gotta take out these orcs and the two-faced goons. <laughs> He's using his staff. Watch out for that truck! It's a, there's the arcade dock. Oh, it's my personal favorite! It's my personal favorite of the Midway Arcade Collection. Paperboy! If you guys have seen the Angry Video Game Nerd, he's... If you guys have seen the Angry Video Game Nerd, he he did a video on the NES version of this game. Yeah, I'm an ex. I love this game. This is my personal favorite. This is Paperboy. Yeah, so pretty much this game is, well, as you can tell from the title, it's essentially a game where you play as a Paperboy. Easy Street. Okay, so we're starting on Easy Street. Monday morning. <clears throat> so it's so there's two types of houses. There's the subscribers, like this house. And the non-subscribers, which are the dark houses. The 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 light the light houses are the, the subscribers and the the dark houses are the non-subscribers. So your best way to get so your main goal is to deliver newspapers to the... So your main goal of the game is to deliver newspapers to your subscribers. But if you miss a paper... So your best option to get a newspaper is to land it on the doorstep. But if you're lucky enough to land it in the mailbox, then you get extra points. But if you... But if you... But if you break, but if you, but if you, if you throw up, if you throw a newspaper in the, in the window, then that subscriber will unsubscribe the next day. And at the end of each level, you go to a training course. Ow! 
Yeah, this game is my personal favorite. I love this game so much. One house resubs unsubscribed. They canceled. Tuesday morning. Yeah, also, while you're delivering your newspaper... Ow, I, I hit the sign. While you're delivering newspapers, a lot of things will get in your way, like... Like pedestrians, dogs, cats, car, people in cars, people on, on big wheel bicycles, people with jackhammers, RC cars, trash cans, lawnmowers, that hearst. There's also an intersection where you have to pass oncoming traffic. Ugh, but I hate the, the cats. I hate the cats. When you drive past them, they go, Row! and then they pounce at you. Dang it. Game over. Ooh, I got the high score. Yeah. I'm number one. Let's try it again. Okay, let's try again. Monday morning. So you can only carry 10 newspapers at a time, but there are stacks of newspapers scattered throughout the street. This is tech kind of based on real life. It's got a contemporary setting. Also, the Paperboy makes a brief appearance in Wreck-It Ralph, and he also makes a brief appearance in the movie Pixels. I love this game so much. It's so fun. But even so, it can get really hard. Tuesday. That's for unsubscribing, asshole. Watch out that hearst. I missed the doorstep. I oh, missed the house. Those are two subscribers we lost. I hit, uh, whatever that thing it is. I think that's rocks or a bush or whatever. I got the silver medal. Let's try to get the gold medal. Three subscribers lost. Damn it. That's again for unsubscribing, asshole. Ow, I hit a kid. I, ah, damn it. Did you take that inside? It's more fun to break the windows. Ugh, that stupid cat! Oh well. Okay. Back to Metropolis. 
Let's fight Two Face now. Sorry, it's focusing. Thanks for the help, arcade doc. Arcade machine. So what are we gonna do? Oh, I think I know what to do. using fire against us so we have to use water hey over here no we I think we have to use electricity oh wait water Fire against water against fire. I think we have to use electricity. Dang it. Water. Damn it. Dang it. This is harder than I thought. He had to be someone else. Water. Hmm. this ah. Maybe you have to be water. This is really getting tough. Ah, I know. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. 
Maybe we have to... Uh, hmm. Break to see what we can find. Rainbow Lego objects. Oh, we need bubbles for this. Where are bubbles? Uh, here she is. When they go to water and fire, they always... How are we going to get past these fire turret things? Whatever. Sorry if this is taking a while. It's just a. can't soak him while he's up there. What's this say? Maybe it has to be fire. This is really confusing. I pretty much destroyed everything. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah, it's hard to get past this thing. It's hard to get past these these flamethrower things. How are we gonna get past them? <clears throat> Oh, that's how! We have to use fire against fire. You have to fight fire with fire. I see. Sorry about that. Time to master build. And done. Yes. <laughs> that actually sounds like a good cool name. What the? Oh great, it's the spaceship we saw in the Dalek extermination of Earth. So in this battle we have to fight Sauron. Red one. Batmobile again. Wow! So what do we have to do? 
Can we lay a hit on him? Nope. Guess not. I hate the red Daleks. They have shields. And they take a while to hit. Open. Open. There we go. I hate this red Daleks. So many orcs and Daleks. Uh, excuse me. Okay, we have to shine all these spotlights onto Sauron. Oh yeah, I forgot to turn on the light. There we go. Oh no, he's using the eye. Whoa! What's that? Wait a minute, I think... Oh, it's the bat signal! Okay, time to master build again. Da, 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 Brick, 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 and done! Okay, the bat signal's ready. Oh no, he's using a spin attack. What? Oh, that was easy. What the? He came back together! That's totally unfair! That breaks all the laws of the Lego world! Oh look, a helicopter! Can't stand light. What the heck is that? Is that? Oh, it's a cart. Wait, that's Gandalf's cart.
Aim it at, at Sauron. This is Gandalf's fight. <sighs> he came back together again. Pretty much when you kill him, he comes back to life. He's like a zombie almost. At least I think he is. I'm not sure. Look, it's uh, it's a school bus. I think that's I think that's Otto is a school bus from uh, the Simpsons. You know the school bus from the Simpsons. You know Otto, the bus driver. You know he talks in a voice like this. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> he's my favorite. He's one of my favorite characters because I I like his voice. Here you go. He'll blow you away. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Otto is my favorite character. You know the guy who drives the bus in uh, in The Simpsons. You know Otto. You know he talks like this. He's got the headphones and the fanny pack, and he, I think he also smokes. Ha! Lord Vortex hand. In we go. Painting the town black. And we rescued Lois Lane. <laughs> well done, Wildstyle. It would have been a long way down had you not opened that rift. Yeah. Yeah. I get the feeling that keystone is going to come in handy. Let's find out how to use it properly then. This is the locate keystone. The locate keystone. The locate keystone. I already added it to the portal. We know. So I'm gonna stop right here. In the next episode, we're gonna we're gonna do another we're gonna do another let's play. We're gonna I'm gonna continue this. So I'm gonna stop right here, and I'm gonna continue the story tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching this episode of my Lego Dimensions Let's Plays. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell icon, share on social media, yada yada yada, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.